Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, men and children of all ages. Welcome to another Fantasy Baseball episode today. Today we're going to be talking about catchers and who my top 10 are, what I think of some of these guys that are being drafted, and basically just what you can get for catchers and value for your spots. So we're going to start off with the number one Buster Posey. Really can't disagree with this too much. He's probably going to hit 20 home runs, hit a, for a very good average, drive in quite a few runs. Buster Posey is an obvious number one guy. Then we go to Yadier Molina, who did really well last season. He's probably not going to have this 15 home runs that he's projected for. He's going to have a decent amount of RBIs. Oh, the thing I forgot to say about Buster Posey. He is eligible for catcher and first base, so that's just another reason to take him overall. He's a dual position player. Yadier Molina, he's going to have a decent year. Um, Probably both these guys are top five guys. Yadier Molina probably going to be a little bit further on than the number two spot. Then we come to Joe Maurer, who really hasn't had that power development since he had that, like, 20 or 30 home run season. Um, I'd actually consider taking Maurer in the two spot because he is a catcher, but they're most likely going to be moving him over to first base with the loss of Justin Morneau. I think they traded Justin Morneau. I expect him to be a first baseman for at least part of the season, so that makes him more valuable because he's going to be playing every day at first base at other than like every few days a catcher or most days a catcher so he might be able to develop his power a little bit more he'll definitely be able to drive in more runs and he may be able to hit for a better average so joe mauer number two guy then we get to the real value picks here carlos santana gonna have probably a 30 homer season with close to 90 rbis and not really much average but carlos santana for first base, catcher, and DDH. And if you're really looking for a starting catcher for your fantasy team, this guy is a definite must-have because of the home runs, the RBIs, not really the average, but he's going to play a lot of games. And Carlos Santana is going to be a pretty good guy. I'd say take him number, probably number one overall, actually. Then we go to Jonathan Lucroy, projected to hit 16 home runs. Probably somewhere around 20 will be realistic for him. 82 RBI, I agree with that. 292 average, I agree with that too. LaCroix, I'd take him probably as a number 4 or a number 2. Probably not a number 1 though, because he's not that great. Come down here to Willen Ros... Oh, oh, mouse is crapping out of me. Come down here to Willen Rosario. He's the 6th catcher being taken off, usually around the 100 pick. And this is a guy that's going to hit at least 20 home runs. He's going to drive in at least 80 in my prediction, and he's going to have a pretty decent average. So if you're looking for a guy to be your catcher, and you're already down here, Willen Rosario is a definite great pick. I would pick him over all the other catchers, though, because Willen Rosario, he's going to be playing in Coors Field. Expect him to go deep a lot in Coors Field. Brian McCann, projected for 29 home runs. Can't really argue with McCann. Oh, he's going to hit a lot of RBIs. McCann is definitely a solid top five guy, not seven. Uh, Salvador Perez, he's not much special out of this group of catchers. Definitely a top ten guy, but not really a top five guy. Wilson Ramos and Matt Wieters are both going to be, again, top five guys probably, just because they're power, and that makes them viable assets behind the plate power. Uh, Jason Castro is probably a six or seven guy. He's... 25 years old. Oh, no. He's going to be 26 years old this year, probably, I think. Um, he's going to hit for quite a bit of power. He's going to strike out a lot, though, but he's definitely a top 10 guy. Then if you're all the way down here, obviously you've heard the story. Evan Gaddis, he's going to have at least 20 home runs. Evan Gaddis is definitely a value pick for 2014 all the way down here. If you're looking for sleepers, these two are your guys, A.J. Pierzynski and Devin Mezzaronko. Mezzarocco really is, hasn't had the starting job behind the plate, but he's going to have the starting job behind the plate this year. So Devin Mezzarocco is going to get a bit of a stat boost, and he, playing every day, he could be a wild horse, dark horse, whatever you want to say, coming out of the season. AJ Pierzynski, everyone just wants to discount AJ Pierzynski. Everyone wants to say that he's not good because he's had some bad seasons, but if you look at AJ Pierzynski, he really hasn't had a drop-off. 272 still, 17 home runs, 70 RBIs. <sighs> This year, he's playing with a really good team, 15 home run projection, 68 RBI, 270 average. I, pro I project all those to be higher. A.J. Pierzynski is definitely going to be a guy that you're going to want to consider taking. And something I don't usually do in these, I'm actually going to take some of these other guys back here. 
as sleepers because you've got Russell Martin, who's probably going to have a great power year. He's not going to hit for average. He's going to drive in quite a bit of runs. Jan Gomes is going to be the same way. He's going to have some power, not really the average, and RBIs. Saltalamaki is going to have the power. Chuchuiz, I wouldn't really count him. If you're really looking for a a good player to get at a low draft position, Deonor Navarro. As the backup, Deonor Navarro had 13 home runs, 34 RBIs last year, and a 300 average. So Deonor Navarro, in my mind, is probably a top 15 catcher who's going 20th overall. So if you're hard up for a catcher, I would consider waiting a little bit and grabbing Deonor Navarro. Then if you want a guy who's probably going to be a potential breakout star this year, Travis Darno for the Mets. Didn't really play that much last year. Projected to be the starter this year. Expect Darno to have a pretty solid season. And the last guy that could possibly break out is Mike Zunino. We don't know if he's going to have the starting role or what is going to happen. But Zunino is probably going to have a pretty solid season if he does come out. But that's pretty much all of it. So we're going to go through one last time of my rankings. We're going to say that the rankings should go as follows. Um, Where am I looking? Uh, Carlos Santana. No, Will and Rosario, Carlos Santana, Buster Posey, uh, Yadier Molina, Joe Maurer, Jonathan Lucroy, Brian McCann, Matt Wieters, Salva- Matt Wieters, Wilson Ramos, Salvador Perez, Jason Castro, probably Evan Gaddis over Jason Castro. Then everything else, no, Deion Navarro probably in there somewhere at the very end. So that's pretty much what I think of the catching situation this year. Uh, let me know what you guys think. That's, that's a pretty honest opinion and my honest opinion. I don't know where I was going with that, but that's what I think all this. I want to thank you guys for watching this video. If you did like it or enjoy it, please leave a like rating. If you also agreed with my stuff, leave me a comment down below letting me know what you guys think. And subscribe for more awesome star or awesome fantasy baseball and Star Wars Battlefront content.